This is We On. Here's a look at the top stories we're following at this hour. Britain's caretaker Prime Minister David Cameron will meet European Union leaders for the first time after the Brexit vote today. Leaders of the 28-nation union are expected to discuss the implications of the referendum. German, French and Italian leaders have rejected any informal talks on the UK's exit unless Article 50 is triggered. UK's Chancellor of the Exchequer, George Osborne, is not ruling out spending cuts and high tax rates after the Brexit vote. Osborne says this would be necessary to ensure fiscal security for British citizens. 42 people have been killed in a wave of suicide bombings in the Yemeni city of Mukalla. Fighters pledging allegiance to the Islamic State group have claimed responsibility for the attacks. In other news, markets across Asia seem to be slowly shrugging off the anxiety following the Brexit referendum result. Indices in Japan, South Korea and Shanghai recovered from early losses on Tuesday to close in positive territory. Volkswagen has agreed to pay over $15 billion to settle claims emerging from its diesel emissions scandal. This is the most expensive auto industry scandal in US history. The German car maker had in September 2015 admitted to having intentionally misled regulators by installing secret software that allowed US vehicles to emit pollution over 40 times the legal limit. And the Chinese Communist Party's propaganda department has reportedly added singer Lady Gaga to a list of hostile foreign forces. This comes after she met with the Dalai Lama yesterday. With that, it's a wrap. Stay with us for news and updates from across the world on realnews.com.